Hey guys, so I wanted to kind of, you guys are in my kitchen, and I want to encourage you guys, okay? Um, last night, my daughter, she's not feeling well. She spiked the fever, and she's been like super clingy. Um, she's two, going on three, and I need to do an update on her as well. But anyway, um, I want to stress how important it is to do or or practice reading the word and getting in God's presence. Now, I try to wake up um, around 5, 5.30, before 6 o'clock to at least get at least five minutes to myself, pray, you know, talk to God for a little bit, and just sometimes just lay there. And um, during that time, my husband, he's, he's already up getting dressed and going to work. And so I try to spend a little bit of time with him before he goes to work and kind of talk to him about the day. Um, you know, if there's anything that I may need or what he may need, and then I try to get into God's presence, right? But as soon as, you know, I'm in, I'm talking to God, I'm reading my word, my daughter gets up and she gets up as super, super early as me. And so I want to stress how important it is just to get in five minutes, even less than that. And so I want to show you guys this devotional. You've probably seen it in a couple of my vlogs, but, um, I am like obsessed with this book. This is like um, my quick, I like to read kind of devotional. And I encourage you guys to get one of those devotionals that you can read over and over and over. Just doing those seasons where you don't have a lot of time to really be in God's presence and you want to talk to God. You kind of want to do whatever, you know, just kind of sit just in the quietness. And uh, sometimes you may not get that season. And so... I want to encourage you either get this book. This is so good. It's it's like you know Jesus kind of talking to you, and um, and then they, and then they share the word at the the scripture on the bottom, and so that's what I, I love about it. So anyway, and it's every single day. So um, I say all of that to say that I wanted to um, encourage you guys because this book is so encouraging. You know, it's encouraging for me, and I love to, whenever I get encouraged, I love to spread it and, you know, share it with other people. So this is what I'm doing. So um, for today's um, uh, devotional, I don't want to read the whole thing to you, but I just want to read just a paragraph. This is just letting you know that, you know, God knows your thoughts. He knows how much you want to be in his presence and, you know, how important that is that you make that time for him. So here's what it says. Um, I offer rest for your soul as well as refreshment for your body, your mind and body. As you increasingly find fulfillment in me, other places, other pleasures become less important. Knowing me intimately, it's like having a private wellspring of joy within you. This springs, f this spring flows freely from my throne of grace, so your joy is independent of circumstances. Waiting in my presence keeps you connected to me, aware of all that I offer you. If you feel any deficiency, you need to refocus your attention on me. This is how you trust me in the moments of your life. And so I want to encourage you with one of the one or two scriptures that I want to share with you. And Ecclesiastes 8, and I'm going to put all the scriptures that I'm going to be talking about in the description box. It talks about, you know, not to hurry in the king's presence. So that's one scripture that I love. And then um, one of the scriptures right now, it talks about in Psalms 37, 7, it says, be still before the Lord, wait patiently for him and entrust yourself to him. And that's the amplified version. And so I just want to encourage you to just really trust God. And if anything that you're lacking, you, you will find it in him. And it just said that your wellspring of joy. And you know what? I'm going to put down the part that I read on, in the description box as, as well as the, as the scriptures. And I just want to encourage you that, you know, especially if you have, you know, more than one child and the strength and energy that you have or even even the joy that you have it don't just come out of nowhere you know all of that energy and joy comes from god and so i just want to encourage that with you and um hit the describe hit the like button if this have in any way blessed you and um uh, thank you so much bye